Hi YouTube, Deb here. I'm going to smoke a whole ham tomorrow and I went to the store to get some uh, barbecue rub and I think those people are crazy. I mean what I need is to rub down my ham real good and I'm just not going to spend the money that's in the store. It was like five dollars for this little spice bottle and I thought well that's crazy but all the spices I have so I made up a um, a uh, a recipe and I'm gonna make my own we're just gonna see what it's like now I'm gonna use a whole fresh ham to do this tomorrow but uh, for right now we're gonna put together some uh, barbecue seasoning or smoke seasoning from pork what I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, put my rub my pork rub in here it's a barbecue rub actually you could probably use um, in on any of your meats, but oh, doesn't that just figure? Okay, I'm going to put. Let's see. This is paprika, so we're going to put two tablespoons paprika. All right, I'm going to put uh, two tablespoons of brown sugar now. Don't get all exact on this, okay? Just put two, you know, heaping spoons of brown sugar. Then you want to take some dry mustard. All right, let me get that. We're going to go with two tablespoons. No, one table. One tablespoon. I'll put this on there for you. One tablespoon of dry mustard. All right. We're going to take tablespoon of chili powder. Now, if you got a little bit more, so what? Uh, onion powder. This is not working out. Alright. Some onion powder. Two tablespoons. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to do one tablespoon of garlic powder. I don't care what anybody says. I want my garlic powder. All right. We're going to put in two teaspoons of salt. One, two, two teaspoons of salt. I want a teaspoon of cumin. You might ask me, how come, Deb? How come you're using your hands like that? I'll tell you what, I can measure that way best. It, it's just the way it is for me. And a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm going to go with a teaspoon of black pepper. Now all I'm going to do is stir this up real, real good. And you know what? You make as much of this as you need. Now, I'm looking at this. I want more brown sugar in mine. So I'm going to put another two tablespoons in there. You know, I like paprika, so I'm going to put a little more paprika in it. The idea is with a rub, you make what you think you would like. Let's see how that's coming. I'll tell you what, the store, I'm not joking, there was one that I could tell, I looked at the ingredients, I didn't like it, um, it was about $4.20, uh, $29, something like that, and then they had the one that I thought I really would like, um, it was $5.39, and I just thought, this, you know what, this is ridiculous, we are preppers, what are we going to do? When the time comes, you know, I just so happen to have, look how beautiful that is. You see that? And that's like, that'll be plenty for my ham. I got a nice ham. It's a fresh ham now. It's not smoked. But I'm going to smoke it. <laughs> it's going to be, so we're going to be out there probably all day tomorrow, or I'll be out there all day tomorrow, tending my fire. But... I just got a good taste for good home smoked meat. And Arkansas Prepper 
when we visited him over a year ago, he taught us how to do good southern uh, smoked meat. And that's what we're going to do. So, keeping up with the tradition, I'm going to try. Ted uh, called me up earlier today and said he might want ribs tonight. And, well, what we want and what we get sometimes are two different things. But, uh, so that's how you make dry rub. And I will put this in the box below. You just make sure you look at it and then tweak it however you want to.